Welcome to my favorite student, Mr. Harry Potter. Woo! Yes! Well, he killed Voldemort when he was just a baby. He's even got that little lightning scar on his forehead to prove it. <laughs> and another very special welcome to our newest addition to Gryffindor, Mr. Ginny. Excuse me, Mrs. Ginny. <laughs> yeah, I'm a girl. And, um, also, aren't I supposed to be sorted by the... Uh, Hat. Well, um, a funny thing happened to the sorting hat. He actually got hitched with another piece of enchanted magical clothing. So he and the scarf of sexual preference aren't going to be back until next year. <laughs> Basically, I've just been putting anybody who looks like a good guy into Gryffindor, anybody who looks like a bad guy into Slytherin, and the other two can just go wherever the hell they want. <laughs> Hufflepuffs are particularly good finders. What the hell is a Hufflepuff? <laughs> anyway, it's time now for me to introduce my very good friend and our own potions professor, Mr. Severus Snape. Oh, man. Snape, I hope they fire that guy. Uh, nothing. He's just fine. <laughs> Detention <laughs> for talking out of turn. <laughs> now, before we begin, I'm going to give you all your very, very first pop quiz. <laughs> Can anyone tell me what a port key is? Oh, oh yes, Miss Granger. A port key is an enchanted object that, when touched, will transport the one or wants to touch it to anywhere on the globe decided upon by the enchanter. A oh, very good. <laughs> Now, can anyone tell me what foreshadowing is? Oh, uh, yes, Miss Granger. Foreshadowing is a dramatic device in which an important plot point is mentioned early in the story to return later in a more significant way. Perfect. <laughs> a port key is something that when you touch it, it will transport you anywhere. And remember, a port key can be a sort of seemingly harmless object, like a football or a dolphin. <laughs> No, that's absurd. Because <laughs> then if a person were to touch themselves, <laughs> they would constantly be transported into different places. A person can, however, be a horcrux. What's, uh, what's a horcrux? I'm not even going to tell you, Harry. You'll find out soon. <laughs> Professor, what is the point of this quiz? Oh, no, no, no point in particular. Just important information that everyone should know. <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> now, moving right along, there are four houses in all. Gryffindor, Woo! Ravenclaw, Ow! Hufflepuff. Fine! What? <laughs> <laughs> and Slytherin. <Yeah. laughs> now, traditionally. <laughs> traditionally, points are given for good behavior and deducted for rule breaking. Example, 10 points from Gryffindor oh, nice. for Miss Granger's excessive baby <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for my... Traditionally, the house with the most points at the end of the year would win the house cup. However, this year we're doing things a bit differently. Here to introduce it is our new professor of the dark arts, Professor Quirk. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> tradition. <laughs> For centuries... Go home, terrorist! <laughs> For centuries, the four houses of Hogwarts have competed for the honor and glory of holding the title of house champion. But where does this competition come from, and what are the roots of the tradition? The House Cup tournament began with the first generation of Hogwarts students. That was a rhetorical question. <laughs> Ranger, quit interrupting. 20 points from Gryffindor. Thanks, Hermione. As I was saying, when the tournament first originated, it was one of a completely different sort. 
One champion from each of the four houses would complete a series of dangerous tasks, challenges. The winner would not only win the cup, he would also win eternal glory. Kind of like a house cup, or no, like a Triwizard Tournament. Yes, sort of like the Triwizard Tournament. Except, no, not like that at all. There are four houses. How can it be the Triwizard <laughs> Tournament with four teams? Well, uh, Professor, if I remember correctly, the House Cup Tournament was disbanded after one semester when one of its students was killed during the first task. Yes, it is very dangerous, but the rewards far outweigh the risks. No, I, I don't think you heard me. I just said somebody died. Hermione Granger, shut your ungodly, lopsided mouth and quit interrupting. 20 more points. Thanks, Hermione. God, for the cleverest witch of your age, you really can't be a dumbass sometimes. <laughs> oh, ten points to Dumbledore. <laughs> yes, yes, well, it will be very dangerous, but the winner will be remembered as a hero for ages to come. And as the professor of defense against the dark arts, I believe that this practical application is exactly what the curriculum needs. <laughs> <laughs> Did your turban just sneeze? What, what? No. I could have sworn I heard a sneeze coming from your direction, but your mouth wasn't moving. No, that, that was simply a fart, excuse me. <laughs> ow, 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 oh, jeez. Oh I God, must be going. Ow. Once more. <laughs> In accordance with the newly resurrected House Cup, a champion from each house will be selected to compete. So, Snape, would you do us the honors, please? Yes, Head Mouse. <coughs> First, from the Ravenclaw House. I miss Cho Chang. Oh, oh, I'm a god of one. I can't even leave that y'all. <laughs> and next, from Hufflepuff. Mr. Cedric Diggory. <laughs> well, I don't find this surprising at all. <laughs> now I can spend more time with my beloved boyfriend. I'm glad as well, my darling. <laughs> and next, from the Slytherin house, a Draco Malfoy. Ha! Huh? Oh, I finally beat you, didn't I, Potter? What do you think of that, huh? I'm the champion this time! <laughs> Just sit down, you little shit. Champions just a title. <laughs> and finally, from the Gryffindor house. Oh my. Well, isn't this curious? The one person in all of Hogwarts whom I have a well known grudge against is suddenly in a tournament where he may very well lose his life. If, if it's me, I'll, I'll apologize to my fellow Gryffindors right now for, for losing. Sit down, you inarticulate bumble. <laughs> it's Harry Potter. <laughs> Champions. I want all of you to start preparing immediately because the first task is in two months and it could be anything. <coughs> so let's get to it. Ah. No, 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 no.